हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक आफ्टर ए ब्रीफ डिले सो टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी हाउ टू एनक्रिप्ट एंड डिक्रिप्ट फाइल्स यूजिंग पी जी पी कमांड इन ए ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन ऑटोमेशन एनीवेयर सो स्टे ड्यून एंड वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल द एंड सो डेट यू डू नॉट मिस आउट ऑन एनी ऑफ द स्टेप्स डेट वी विल कवर ड्यूरिंग दिस वीडियो so without any further delay let us let us start our discussion for today pgp command is used to automatically encrypt and decrypt files for security pgp command supports two type of encryption method that is symmetric mode and the asymmetric method in the symmetric method we need to pass in the pass phrase to encrypt the pdf file here pass phrase means the password which will be used to encrypt the pdf file but in asymmetric mode we need to create a public key and the private key files to encrypt and decrypt files to use the pgp command we need to first install the pgp package from the package manager list so to install the pgp package follow the steps as mentioned in the video to install the pgp package go to bots packages and search for the pgp package in the search section in the search box type in pgp and then hit enter the search related to pgp command will be shown so to install the pgp package click on the three dots and then click on download option so in so since this is the community edition the download option is not visible since all the packages are being by default installed over here so but in enterprise edition you will get to see the download option over here so you can click on the download option and then install the pgp package so this is how you can install a pgp package if not present in the action list under the task board now we will see each of the sub commands that are present under the pgp package one by one in detail so first of all we will see how to encrypt the file using the pass phrase method of the pgp so click on encrypt files and in the pass phrase give the password through which you want to encrypt the pdf file so suppose i am giving as this in the insert your string tab select the encryption algorithm which you want to apply so there are various encryption algorithms which you can apply such as aes 128 aes 192 aes 256 bluefish trust 5 idea triple des 2 fish 256 so in this example i am using idea encryption algorithm so select the source folder or the file which you want to encrypt so suppose i am selecting this as the source file and in the destination folder where we i want to save the encrypted file so i am giving the encrypted folder in which i want to save the file is encrypt folder if you want to add the file extension then click on add file extension check box and check the override file with the same name if the file is already present in that particular folder so there are various compression type algorithms which you can use so one is nun one is zip one is bzip2 and one is zlib so these are the various compression algorithms which we can use so i am selecting as nun as of now then click on save now we will run the program to see the output as you can see the bot has run successfully so now we will go to the required folder to check whether the file has been encrypted or not 
So go to the required folder which we created or which we gave to store the encrypted file and open the file. So as you can see the file has been encrypted and the text has been written in such a way so that no one can read this. So this is how we can use encrypt file using the passphrase method. Now we will see another method to encrypt the file using asymmetric method that is where we will create the public key and the private key to encrypt the file. So first of all drag and drop the create keys command and select the location to save the public key file. Before that we will create the private key and the public key file. So this is how we can create a private key file. Now we will create a public file, public key file. So we have created the private key file and the public key file. So now in the location to save public key file text box, we will browse the file that is public key file. So select the public key file and then click on open. Then in the private key file text box, select the private key file from the desktop location or the folder location where you have created the public key and the private key file. So now select the private key file and then click on open. And then click on save. Before clicking on save, Check the overwrite file with same name with same file name checkbox and now click on save. Now we will drag and drop the encrypt file command. And in the encrypt file properties, we will select the public key file. And in the desktop file tab, we will select the public key file. Or we will browse the public key file from the desktop location or from where the folder location where your public key file is created. Click on open and in the encryption algorithm you can use any algorithm that is present in the drop down. So the various algorithms that are present under the encryption algorithm are AES128, AES192, AES256, Blowfish, Trust5, idea triple des triple des two fish 256 so again i am using the idea encryption algorithm and in the source folder file we will select the file which we want to encrypt so i am selecting aa details dot txt and then click on open in the destination folder file, give the location where you want to save the encrypted file. So I am giving the folder name as encrypted data and check the overwrite file with the same name if the file already exists. In the compression type algorithm, we will select none and then click on save. Now we will run the program to see the output. As we can see the bot has run successfully. Now we will go to the folder location to check whether the file has been encrypted or not. So select the or open the encrypted for data folder and open the file. And as you can see the file has been encrypted. And this is the data you can't read because this is in the encrypted form. So this is how we can use encrypt file command using asymmetric method. Now we will see how to decrypt an encrypted file using the decrypt file command. So drag and drop the decrypt file command and select the passphrase method and then select the insecure string tab and then give the password which you have used to 
which you have used during the encryption method to encrypt the file. So select the file from the required folder location which you want to decrypt. So in this case I am selecting encrypted data and then select the file name and then click on open. Now select the destination folder or file where you want to save the decrypted file. So I am selecting the folder name as decrypt data and check overwrite files with the same file name chatbot and then click on save. Now we will run the program to see whether the bot has run successfully or not. So the bot is still running. As you can see there is some error since it is not able to decrypt passphrase based data stream. So to resolve this error I guess we have selected the wrong folder or the wrong, wrong folder where the file is present. So we need to select the correct folder. So I am selecting the encrypt folder and then select the file and then click on open. And then now click on save. Now we will run the program again to see whether the bot is now able to run successfully or not. So now the bot has run successfully. So now we will go to the required folder location to see whether the file has been decrypted successfully or not. So open the decrypt data folder and open the file. So this, so this was the content or the data that is present in this file. So the file has been successfully decrypted using the passphrase method. So this is how you can use decrypt file with the passphrase method. Now we will discuss the last method of decrypting the file using asymmetric method. So drag and drop the create keys command and select the location of public key as well as the private key file. So first of all select the public key file location where it is stored. After selecting the file click on open. Similarly select the private key file from the required folder location where it is stored. So after selecting the file click on open and then select the overwrite file with the same file name checkbox and then click on save. Now select the decrypt file command or drag and drop the decrypt file command and select private key file and under the desktop file tab select the private key file after selecting the file click on open and, the, and then select the file you, which you want to decrypt so I am selecting encrypted data folder and under that we will select aedetails.txt file which we want to decrypt. And in the destination folder and file select the folder where you want to save the decrypted file. So I am selecting or giving the folder name as decrypted data. And then I will check overwrite file with the same file name if it is already exist and then click on save. So now we will run the program to see whether the bot has run successfully or not. As we can see the file has been successfully decrypted. So now we will go to the required folder and check whether the file has been decrypted or not. So go to the decrypted data folder and open the file and as you can see the file has been successfully decrypted. 
since this was the content that was present in the original file which we encrypted and then we decrypted the same file so this is how you can use decrypt file using asymmetric method so so in today's video we discussed about the pgp command how to install the pgp package and the various subcommands that are present under the pgp package also we discussed how to encrypt and decrypt the file using symmetric as well as asymmetric method in the symmetric method we need to pass the passphrase that is the password to encrypt and decrypt the file but in asymmetric method we need to create the public key as well as the private key first in order to encrypt and decrypt the file so that's it for today if you like my video please do watch like and share and also subscribe to my youtube channel so that you do not miss out on the latest topics that we keep discussing in our video thank you all and have a great day